Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So of course as usual we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy in this video but however I just wanted to make a very quick review about our premium forex signals. We had really a very great and amazing beginning of this week. We can see that the first day almost all of the signals have reached the take profit levels and even the day after we can see that the signals have also reached all of the take profit levels. Look at that. It was full of green. It was really great day and we have enjoyed a lot of profit. Look, look, look at that. So many profits we have enjoyed against only 20 pips of loss. But sadly, Wednesday was really one bad day. And we can see that four, th four signals we had to close in loss right front of you as you can see. I just wanted to highlight that these losses were very tiny compared to other signals providers who have accepted 80 I mean, there are signals providers who have accepted an 80 pips of loss and 75 pips of loss and 100 pips of loss. These are scary numbers and we we can never allow this to happen in, in an extreme trader. Uh, what happened, we closed the trade with 40, 35, 15 and 11 pips of loss. And that was not our fault that day because that day there was some news about the uh, United States have shut down their Houston, uh, China Houston consulate. So therefore, the, uh, unfortunately also, uh, bad for our luck, and that day we had sent two signals including with the, included with the USD pair and another two signals included with the uh, Japanese yen. Both of these pairs have actually, uh, the USD, oh my god, sorry about that, uh, USD and JPY was actually the first pairs to be affected from DC news and sadly our signals were included with these pairs so that's the reason we had the loss happened however the day after was also not so good because the market was still crazy but however we managed to close two trades with 14 pips and 12 pips of loss only against uh, Euro GPY 20 pips of profit, Eurocat 20 pips of profit, profit then again today Euro GPY hit 50 pips of profit so I think it's not really a bad, it was only one bad day and actually that tells you how great extreme trader forex signals is because usually we are having full of profits, full of uh, good days but we, when we have just one bad day everyone opened the fire against us. Why? Because they are not expecting this from extreme trader. That is actually something good because we are actually uh, having a very high and good uh, reputation in this field that we are giving the best signals and that's why it's hard for some of the clients to believe that we had one bad day. I'm really grateful for that and in the end I really hope this week is gonna continue uh, to be a profitable week and hopefully today we are gonna make some good profits and in the end uh, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So let's now move to the live trading session. And as you can see, I'm about to place the sell order right here. Now, actually, there is a reason why did I place my sell order right here, my friends. Now, of course, uh, this video are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy along with Fibonacci retracement. And I think it's very important to mention um, what is this strategy for our new subscribers and followers. Thankfully, the channel is growing very fast. Uh, so let me just show you, my friends. If you go to my channel on YouTube, you can watch this video right here. This one, Fibonacci. Uh, Fib Forex, the magic of Fibonacci scalping strategy. And guys, honestly, it's, it's, I cannot understand. This video has only 4,000 views only. I mean, wow. I mean, okay, I know my channel don't have that high view rates, but uh, 20 pips a day strategy has 12,000 views. Meanwhile, Fibonacci has only 4,600 views. Um, I think that is not really the right thing. I think there is something wrong here because this video here is very important. It's going to make your scalping uh, way so much easier. And I'm feeling happy for those 4,000 viewers. They have actually earned a lot of uh, knowledge by learning that strategy however if you my friends want to know exactly what i'm doing in this video you have to refer please to that uh, video of fibonacci so it's very important to mention the reason why did i place the sell order right here now as you can see my friends i have drawn my fibonacci retracement from this higher high to this lower low and looking at the left what we can see from the history what does the history tells us here if we look right here 
we can see that we had a resistance level and actually the right way to draw it is like that exactly like that now what we can see right here my friends is we had the resistance right here and that resistance recently has had a fake a fake break out from the level so the market has actually made one attempt to break out of the level and once the market retested the broken resistance the retest has failed and the market went right below that resistance level and not only that but even when the market tried to make another attempt to break out again of the resistance the shock was or the reversal was strong and the market has immediately made the reversal and it just get, went kept going down more and more now what that tells us it tells us that this resistance level is very strong and that failed attempt to, uh, to break out of it it didn't work at all and therefore we can expect from the market to keep the level as a resistance right here now the point is that is Fibonacci retracement 61.8 that is the reason I have placed my trade right here and therefore we can expect from the market to actually if it's gonna go against me if this if this trade is gonna continue rising against my my order we can expect if, expect for it to actually reach that level of the resistance at the highest level and then it's gonna continue reversal uh, if that happened actually I might open another uh, I might open another sell order right here now of course since this is my live account I have to do it because I need to earn money this is not for educational purpose right now and now now by saying that uh, our take profit level is going to be placed at the next Fibonacci retracement which is in this scenario is level 50 so let me just proceed and go ahead and exactly right here our uh, Fibonacci our take profit level now it's going to provide for me at least 18 pips of profit and equals to 133 dollars of profit now as I said we need to set the same as a stop loss and I'm gonna make it right above the resistance level okay it's not exactly equal to the same stock profit level I just had to do it because I don't want to set my stop loss exactly where I can expect from the candles to reverse I need to give it some more space and therefore I had to place the stop loss just just a little bit above the resistance now of course the, keep in mind I maybe I forgot to mention that we are on the 15 minute time frame on the USD CAD all right let's now continue the search and I'm thinking if I should actually reduce uh, the lot size I'm gonna make a 0 0.80 I don't like to open two trades or three trades with one lot size uh, it's it's not it's not wise in my opinion and we should be careful about our money now oh my god yeah that's really good that's really good that's really good yes pound AUD I had to place the sell order let me explain to you the reason so by looking at the pound AUD what we can see right here if we zoom in let me just uh, go to the left and show you it's obvious really guys do I have to explain what's happening look at that that level was very strong as a resistance it was a key resistance level and then that level also had become a previous support so meaning that level is really strong as a support and a resistance now on the 15 minute time frame what happened later that this level has been breaking out from and we can see that we had right here a resistance number one and right now I had to place my sell order right on resistance number two of course we need in this scenario since we did not use Fibonacci retracement we need to know exactly where to set our take profit level and of course it's gonna be right on that nearest support level which is exactly right here let's see how many pips that can provide me look at that amazing that's gonna give me 31 pips of profit really guys that is the reason why I love to trade the pound pairs a small reversal can actually give us a lot of profits and actually actually you need to remember something right now um, this is called 20 pips a day strategy meaning if if you are a day trader like me then this this one trade is should be enough for you if you just keep if you just spend the day looking for that one really good setup that can get that, that is actually able to give you a 20 pips a day, uh, profits it's really uh, ideal in my opinion that you stick to that uh, one setup and therefore first of all if you do that first of all you are gonna actually make profits because in that scenario uh, um, your daily income or daily profit is gonna be at least 20 pips 
as a profit or maximum 20 pips as loss meaning you're gonna stay longer days in this market you are not gonna end up wiping your account or um, losing everything or losing all your funds if you do that you are actually gonna first of all uh, make profits because you are now restricting yourself to the trades profits and losses and number two is you are gonna spend less time uh, that's a clock guys that's a clock okay you're gonna spend less time uh, trading because actually it is not uh, good in my opinion that you spend hours and hours analyzing the market and just like you are isolating yourself from uh, socializing with everyone just because you are trading that's not really the best life for a day for a day trader just try to find that one setup my friends and tr trust me give it just one week only one week trial give it a week and just test it yourself if it works for you or not by finding that one setup only enter it and once you make the profit you are seeking you can just exit and finish the day please don't be greedy because greediness is the key uh, number one reason for losing in this in industry now that being said of course uh, i have to mention that i am professional I am the one who have invented this strategy and therefore I think it's okay for me to enter several trades at the time using that strategy. I know what I'm doing and as I said this is my own money and I'm taking the full responsibility of what's gonna happen to my account. As you can see USDCAD is right now going in almost 10 pips of profits and as we can see the profits right now 57 60 dollars of profit uh, fantastic really great I think it's better to just enter two trades at a time uh, let me just set this lot size to one again and I think I'm gonna just wait one of them to enter uh, the tech profit level before I proceed with the next uh, trade so I think I'm gonna now pause the video my friends and I'll be back to you once one once once uh, one of these sig uh, trades will actually hit the tech profit one or until I find really another good setup okay so i'm looking right now at the aud in zd and actually what we can see right here is a very good setup for a buy and we can expect not too much maybe around 10 pips only from this trade um let me explain to you the reason actually let me just be sure first if it's gonna be a good setup or not uh if we place the buy order right here we can expect the market to reverse for almost uh, 14 or 13 pips only um no i'm not gonna place the trade right here let me explain the reason actually uh those who have followed me for a long time they know exactly what i'm telling about uh we, when we are having right here a bullish breakout candle from any resistance it's ideal to place the buy order right on the same level of the top of the nearest week to this candle so saying that let me just show you an example what i mean not example exactly what i mean uh this is the bullish breakout candle right and as we can see the nearest wick to this bullish breakout candle is right here so usually it's ideal to place the buy order exactly right here at the same level of that wick right here now the reason is i don't want to do that because the bearish momentum seems very strong on this pair and it doesn't seem like the pair is actually going to reverse <coughs> uh, on that level uh, as i said the bearish momentum is very strong and we can expect from the market to actually continue falling to hit the support level on 1.06510 and uh, that's why i'm not gonna place any sell order uh, any buy order right here and i'm just gonna ignore it so let's go back right now to the 15 minute time frame and let's try to find any other decent setup as you can see the pound aud is still ranging is still not in the profit yet and USDCAD is actually doing well actually the USDCAD it went really very close to the tech profit level and I was preparing to open the recorder but suddenly it just started the reversal like that that's okay because this uh, candle or this market did not yet reach the previous resistance or the support therefore definitely is gonna continue the fall it's just now retesting the broken resistance and eventually USDCAD is actually gonna fall and give us the profit so until then let me again pause the video and i'll be back to you once i find another setup okay we're having a very very interesting setup on the gold and i think no 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 one lot is a lot for the gold let me just uh, make it 60 
that's a lot uh, uh, that's still actually a lot but however should be fine now i'm getting greedy actually i think to make it one lot size however um uh, that should be fine 0 0.60 is actually good for this account number anyway uh, let me just tell you my friends what happened now for the gold which is really obvious in my opinion uh, what we can see is very clear resistance number one and I have placed my cell on resistance number two as simple as that no other explanation no other things to show that's all that's it look at that even on the four hour chart we can see that we had reached we have reached the top of that previous resistance and therefore I had to place my cell order right here now uh, going back to the 15 minute time frame now let's see what which uh, what are the support and the resistance levels here in order for us to define our stake profit level now by looking at that let's mark our resistance and support levels so we are having right here a previous resistance which has also be uh, as you can see we have here the resistance which has also become the support right here so is that the nearest level to my entry no not yet now let's move to the next level we had also a previous resistance right here look at that we have the resistance level right here and it was also another resistance guys we need to study them candle by candle so looking at that we can see that the market has reached that level of that resistance and then reversed and again the market has another made another reversal right here and therefore this candle this candle right here can be considered as a bullish breakout candle from that resistance that being said that is the nearest resistance to my entry and i'm going to set my take profit level exactly right on that previous resistance and thankfully because i'm trading the gold the gold is actually giving a lot a lot even more much more than the pound pairs is giving a lot of profits look at that 140 dollars profit and 23 pips uh, from this trade that's why i'm telling you my friends by the way hold on hold on okay good the usd cad is now going in 81 dollars of profit which is good so back to the gold i just wanted to explain to you um if you really want to make a lot of profits using my strategy you can aim all of the pound pairs uh gold well, no, let me just write it for you uh the xau usd and euro nzd euro uh, NZD. Uh, these are actually one of the top earning uh, pairs in my opinion and if you focus on them as a day trader you are gonna make really a lot of profits but gold is the king of them to be honest with you gold is my favorite to make favorite to make a lot of profits by a small look at that I, I just want a small reversal to give me my, to give you my daily target and hopefully uh, from this trade i'm gonna make it so as you can see now all of the trades are going in good profits and in total we are having 110 dollars profit now i think that's gonna be it for this live trading video i don't want to enter more trades for now and therefore let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you to show you later what will gonna happen with all these trades and back to this uh, to these signal uh, trades we can see i keep saying signals i don't know why back to these trades we can see that uh, the gold right now is running in um 17 it was actually going in almost 18 pips of profit so i think i'm gonna close it uh, very soon i just don't want to miss this opportunity just for the sake of extra um two pips more it's not really worth it i'm gonna close the gold right now with a good profit I think it's gonna reach, reach the take profit level however yes 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 and it has already reached the take profit level and I'm gonna close it that's it uh, there is absolutely no reason to risk losing the trade for extra 0 0.5 pips that's ridiculous in my opinion so the account right now is above thousand uh, six hundred thirty three dollars let me now just uh, look at the other trades actually the USD CAD has made another reversal now we can see that there is a pin bar right here i'm thinking to actually close that trade right now sometimes my friends you just have to go along with the market if the market is not giving you the profits you are seeking you can never push it to give you more profits uh what happened i think for the usd cad that the market has reversed from that resistance level it did not reach that resistance right here therefore i think uh the right thing to do right now is close the USD CAD accepting only $41 profit from this trade 
as I said, I just wanted to give an example why sometimes <coughs> we have to change our targets. We are not forcing the forex market to move based on our uh, favor. We um, just because I said the take profit right here doesn't mean I have to force the market to go down to reach my take profit level. That's not how forex works. You have to swim along with the flow. You have to realize what's the what's going on in the market. Seeing this pin bar right here on the 50 minute time frame actually might indicate a continuation in the bullish bullish momentum and therefore to be safe I decided that I should close the trade immediately. Now for the pound AUD is different story. Now we are having right here a good price action indicates a, bear, a bearish reversal and therefore this trade I'm gonna keep it running because right now not only that we can see not only the resistance level right here but we can see that also we had another resistance level right here that indicates a strength uh, sorry a strength in the uh, pressure from the bears and therefore yes look at that look at the candle is falling the candle is falling and therefore we can expect from the market to continue fall all the way to hit this support level so if nothing nothing changed i'm gonna keep it running and if something happened i'm gonna just close it to the, with the with almost 12 fifths of profit but let's just wait some more time and see what will gonna happen so that being said let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you in few minutes all right so unfortunately we can see that the pound aud has actually made a strong uh, continuation price action uh, that candle right here usually indicates a continuation and as you can see the next candle right after it was actually a full uh, green candle or a blue candle in my case so i think i'm gonna just close this trade with the break even just like that Th that's enough let's just close it with the break even because i think the market is actually gonna continue the rise looking at that uh, for our chart we can see that the market has actually closed above that resistance uh, sorry previous support zone and now there is a chance that the market actually might continue the rise to hit the resistance level on 1.80520 so as i just said my friends we cannot force the market to give us the profits we're seeking however we just have to swimming uh, to, to swim along with the flow and just accept what the market is offering us and sadly um most of the trades did not reach the levels i was uh, thinking about except for the uh, gold and as you can see even the gold has reversed actually wow um let me just look at that did we just miss a lot of profits from the gold uh, i think maybe yes the gold kept falling for <laughs> 60 pips from uh, okay anyway uh, it's okay i am happy with the profits i have made from the gold it was enough and right now actually uh, dubai time is 12 20 pm that is not really the best time for scalping and therefore i'm gonna stop um i'm gonna resume trading at i think about 3 pm that's gonna be actually a more convenient time for do some more scalpings after the uk session uh, um, uh, opened therefore i think guys uh, that's gonna be it for this live trading video uh yeah i'm aware it was not the best uh, session i just uh, hope that you guys have learned that sometimes we just need to uh, accept what the market is offering us and just don't force it don't expect for it to give us all uh, the profits all of the time and therefore yeah we just need to accept uh, what the market is giving us so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching